Hi, I'm Samantha B. Welcome to Full Frontal. Well, here we are. Now, after a massacre, the standard operating procedure is that you stand on stage and deliver some well-meaning words about how we will get through this together, how love wins, how love conquers hate, and that is great. That is beautiful, but you know what? Fuck it, I am too angry for that. Love does not win unless we start loving each other enough to fix our fucking problems. There were 370 instances in 2015 where more than four people were shot at one given time, more than one per day. Hey, is it okay if instead of making jokes, I just scream for seven minutes until we go to commercial? <laughs> no, it's not okay? Okay, here we go. Mass shootings have become so frequent in this country, it seems like the only thing that will stop a bad guy with a gun is another bad guy with a gun who coincidentally came to shoot up the same place. <laughs> Our mass shooter du jour was Omar Mateen, born in New York. He beat his ex-wife. He'd been reported multiple times to his employer as homophobic and unhinged. And the FBI had twice questioned him for ties to terrorism. But none of these things disqualified him from legally buying a gun that shoots 45 rounds a minute. Not even his terrible mirror selfies. <laughs> I think we can all agree that if you don't have one friend to hold the phone for you, your lone wolf ass doesn't get a gun. Let this be a lesson, ladies. If someone's Tinder profile is just mirror selfies, they're definitely a murderer. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, who could have predicted that letting suspected extremists buy guns was a bad idea? Other than Obama less than two weeks ago. I've got people who we know have been on ISIL websites, living here in the United States, U.S. citizens, and we're allowed to put them on the no-fly list when it comes to airlines, but because of the National Rifle Association, I cannot prohibit those people from buying a gun. Obama may have been explaining that vulnerability in our gun laws at the very moment the Orlando shooter was taking advantage of it. Did the shooter just watch PBS NewsHour and go, hey, that's what I should do? You know what, of course, this raises some very thorny questions. Should we restrict people's rights based on scary things they say? Are innocent lives worth less than the sanctity of free speech, even if it's hate speech? And what about profiling? You know what? These questions are hard. It's a lot easier to just accept that going to a public place carries a non-zero risk of dying in a hail of bullets. This could have happened anywhere in the world. Unfortunately, today was Orlando's turn. Orlando's turn? Mass shootings are so normalized now that we're taking turns? Hey, Minnesota, this is Delaware. It's my turn for a mass shooting tomorrow, but I have family visiting, so can you switch mass shootings with me? Thanks, bye. <laughs> And as for anywhere in the world, not quite sparky. Australia had five mass shootings between 1987 and 1996. Then the public decided that was no fun. Parliament passed strict gun laws, and they haven't had a mass shooting since then. Let me repeat that. Australia hasn't had a single mass shooting since the Fresh Prince left Bel Air and was never heard from again. <laughs> of course, you know, Australia. Australia doesn't have a Second Amendment. Love you, Madison, congratulations on your Tony, but you really fucked us with that one. <laughs> we can't constitutionally get rid of all guns, but can't we get semi-automatic assault rifles out of the hands of civilians? Sam B wants to take your guns away. Yes! The ones that mow down a room full of people in seconds? Yes, I do want to take those guns away. These high-capacity penis substitutes are a shitty choice for hunting and home protection, but perfect for portable mayhem. That's right, what Paul Giamatti is to biopics, the highly profitable AR-15 is to deadly mass shooting. It turns up at gay nightclubs, Movie theaters, an elementary school, colleges, even an office party with coworkers. It's nicknamed America's Gun, and unlike handguns, it can be bought in Florida with no waiting period. Perhaps the governor would like to comment on that? Is there anything that you can do on a policy level to stop something like this in the future? There, look, we're dealing with a tragedy right now. Our prayers go out to everybody impacted. Law enforcement's doing their job. If only shooting victims could dodge bullets as deftly as you dodged that question. There will be plenty of time to think about how do we make, or, you know, continue to improve our society. What the fuck?
fuck are you even talking about? This wasn't even Orlando's first high-profile gun murder of the weekend. Stop thinking and do something to improve our society. We're going to continue to work on how we do that. Okay. Look, we're a resilient state. Bye-bye. What? 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 Oh, okay, bye-bye. Later, skater. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Seriously, that guy bolted so fast, I'm surprised every wall in the Florida State House doesn't have a Rick Scott-shaped hole in it. <laughs> But the governor didn't get too far before CNN managed to get him on the phone. There are a lot of Americans watching right now who want to know what they can do to help. What can they do to help, sir? I think the biggest thing is pray. Pray for the victims. Pray for their families. Um, pray that uh, this never happens again. You heard the man. The biggest, most helpful thing you can do to ensure this never happens again is sit quietly in a room with your eyes closed talking to nobody. <laughs> Wait a minute. We pray after every mass shooting, and yet they keep happening. Maybe we're not praying right. Can we check the instruction manual? Thus, also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Oh, shit. We were supposed to do something while we prayed? To be fair, Rick Scott did sign a law restricting personal backyard shooting ranges in crowded residential neighborhoods, which is apparently something you have to tell Floridians not to do. <laughs> but he spent most of his administration relaxing Florida's gun laws until they're looser than the twat of an elephant who just had triplets. I don't know if that's because Scott's head is essentially a semi-jacketed 209 millimeter round point, and I don't care. Because as we were reminded yesterday, controlling lethal weapons through a patchwork of state laws is pretty useless as long as America still contains roads and Indiana. There is no shortage of troubled 20-somethings out there. And whether they're radicalized by ISIS or homophobia or white nationalism or a dislike of movies, we are making it far too easy for their derangement to kill us. So until we as a nation find the political will to reject a mass shooting per day as the price of freedom, I'm just going to pray. Are you there, God? It's me, Sam. Please. Bless the victims and their friends and families in their time of unspeakable pain. Give us the courage to say no more. And while you're at it, please send the NRA a plague of boils. Amen. <laughs> we'll be right back.